Let's go with another performance based question for your CompTIA Security Plus exam. If you're looking for the normal questions, check out the descriptions in the card or just my YouTube channel. I've posted 100 different normal questions for you guys to have an easier time in your Security Plus exam. Let's jump in. The question says read the following firewall rules and mark the statements as true or false. Previously, we've practiced these type of questions and a simpler version of this one have been posted in the channel as well. I'm going to put it in the card too and also a reverse version of this. All right, here is our firewall rule. It's a little bit more advanced than usual and we have a couple of things in relation to these firewall rules, a couple of statements. Now, these are the statements that we have and you're going to have to say if these statements are true or false and as always you can put them in these rectangles if they are true or if they are false according to the firewall rules that we have in front of us all right now i want to give you a couple of seconds you can pause the video go through them read them carefully be aware of the traps and try to answer them then we will jump into the explanations all right ready let's go for the first one it says i can send emails to 172.16.20.10 now sending emails is usually via smtp and we have on rule 7 port 25 in relation to smtp and we can use any source and any destination to use this rule which is allowed thus it's going to make this statement true so pretty easy one for the first one but it's just a warm-up all right how about rule or sorry statement two i cannot view the company's website at 172.16.20.75 now viewing a company's website is usually on port 80 or 443 and sometimes alternatively on port 8080 now since rule 4 says any source to this destination is allowed through port 443 which is HTTPS, we can view the company's website. Even though port 8080 is blocked and usually it's used for alternative variation of web servers serving your company's website or something like that, and it's blocked, but since port 443 is allowed, then we are able to do so, and thus it's gonna make this statement false. Now, also, if you're wondering why we have port 8080 blocked, usually it's a common practice if you want to, let's say, only allow HTTPS traffic to pass through and not HTTP, especially if you're dealing with sensitive information, you might want to block these alternative ports. Usually you do not block port 80 though, and Maybe sometimes you try to have specific rules for that to block certain things like DLP, data loss prevention, but uh, maybe you're trying to not put anything on port 80. All right, let's go to statement number three. It says, I can't send files from computer at this IP address to this IP address and not sure what you've answered if you have thought about port 21 and thinking that oh port 21 file transfer protocol blocked uh, even though we have any source any destination and it's going to make this statement true sorry we have another protocol on port 69 the tftp the trivial file transfer protocol which is allowed and is going to allow us to send from this source to the destination which matches 
our statement and thus it's going to make this statement false now trivial file transfer protocol is usually used for booting up network devices maybe you have a raspberry pi or something like that and or a network printer or something that's small that does not require that much amount of data to be transferred back and forth and also it might have some security concerns in relation to the communication channel since it's not secured so we're gonna have to set the firewall rules to accept things from the trusted sources and so on but for the sake of this question it is meant there to be introduced to you guys and just a little bit of trap all right how about the statement for the last one it says i can connect my laptop to a LAN socket in the lobby and use the internet what do you think of that well we have port 67 which will allow us to use udp protocol to query for the ip address from dhcp server from any source to any destination and that will allow us to just connect our laptop in the lobby to a LAN socket acquire the necessary ip address and use the internet now we can also use different things different scenarios in here to make it a little bit more complicated but we will just stop at that so this is possible thus it's going to make this statement true okay i have a bonus one for you the bonus one says connect and extract product table using mariadb at this ip address meaning that i can do that and you're gonna write down in the comment if this statement is true or false according to the firewall rules that we have and that's it for today i hope you enjoyed this video like share subscribe and stay tuned for more i wish you success in your exam and catch you on the next one